Euclidean distance. What is it? How to compute it? What are the use cases? In the field of data science or machine learning, you will come across a concept called distance measures. And these summarize how similar, different, or in other words, far apart objects are. And those objects can be pretty much anything. Strings of text, points in high dimensional space, images, you name it. Today I want to tell you about probably the most well-known distance measure, Euclidean or L2 distance, and this is widely used for numerical data. Let's say we have two points in 2D space. What is the simplest way to measure the distance between them? Well, we probably would draw a straight line and measure the length of that line. This is Euclidean distance, and the same applies to points in higher dimensional space, as we can draw a straight line that connects two points. The formula is quite straightforward too, as it uses Pythagorean theorem, we simply take a square root of sum of squared differences between points coordinates. We take our points, subtract x coordinate of our first point from x coordinate of our second point, do the same with our y coordinates, square these differences, sum them up, and the last step is the square root. The range of Euclidean distance is between 0 and infinity, so if the points are very far apart, the distance will be very high. If they're near each other, the distance will be low, and if they're in the same location, the distance is of course zero. There are many use cases of Euclidean distance you will come across while dealing with machine learning. Clustering algorithms where unlabeled samples are grouped based on their distance. Classification algorithms where labels are given to unlabeled samples based on their distance to labeled ones. And many, many more. In upcoming videos, I will explain other distance and similarity measures. So if you find this useful, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next one.